In 2001, a real-world exercise tested the emergency response to a bioterror attack on the continental United States. The operation was called Dark Winter. Within just a few days, the simulation spiraled out of control. The operation predicted a rapid breakdown in essential institutions, civil disorder, and massive civilian casualties. Dark Winter has revealed how vulnerable we've become. Our lifestyle, our security, our safety, depends on a delicate and unstable economy. We've created a system so complicated that we no longer understand how to control it. Oil, power, shipping, transport. We live in a complex world. And the more complex it gets, the more fragile it becomes. The system is built on a global supply chain that gets things where they're needed, just in time. We've created a house of cards. Remove just one, and everything falls apart. And what's fueling the system? Money. Americans can spend $90 billion in a single day of shopping. Last year, 200 million people swarmed their local stores on November 23rd. We call that day Black Friday. Did you know that a flu virus can survive on the surface of a banknote for up to 17 days? One day, there will be a pandemic. It could begin during the crush of Black Friday sales. A pathogen will jump from tainted banknotes to human skin, onto food, toys, children, and loved ones. By the time patient zero feels the first sore throat, millions of people will already be infected. From this point, the breakdown will happen fast. Day one, hospitals will reach capacity. Panic will strike. Day two, quarantine zones will be established. Resources will be rationed. Transport will go into lockdown. Day three, international trade will stop. The oil will dry up. The stock market will collapse. Day four, the power will fail. The shelves will be empty. The taps will run dry. And once hunger and despair take hold, People will do anything for survival. By day five, everyone will be a potential threat. In 2007, a new presidential directive was signed quietly into law. This maps out the government's response to a crisis, a plan to cope with a real dark winter. It is known as Directive 51. There are rumors of shadow agencies, sleeper cells, covert agents, but nothing can be confirmed. Our complex world is primed for breakdown. And once the chaos strikes, there won't be resources to save us all. The only question left is, what will it take to save what remains? They said it was just the flu. But it turned out to be something else entirely. We followed our orders. Isolate the sick in a quarantine zone in the middle of Manhattan and stop the contagion from spreading. We started to lose count of casualties. We built a wall to contain the sick. But we lost control of the situation. And that's when the power went out. Rioting, looting, chaos. They ordered us to pull out all troops within a few hours. We left everything behind in a zone saturated with contamination. We left our best equipment, our most powerful weapons, and the only hope for a cure. Few dare go over the wall. The fewer still come out. We call this place the Dark Zone. It's hard to watch something you love destroy itself, to see it fall apart. Disaster always feels so distant, detached. Someone else's struggle in some faraway place. It's not until it's in our city, at our doors, that we realize how fragile we are. All of us. All of this. <laughs> Please. I love you, Marcus. Sarah. And when it 
hit. When it came down, it came down hard. And we fell. We buried ourselves in anger, fear, and the instinct to survive. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm just not started to collapse. The dark side of humanity took control of the streets. This city fell apart. It's crazy out here. Every man for himself. Survival of the fittest. You gotta take what you need in this world. This world is our playground now, and no one's here to stop us. We got out of Riker's jail, and we ain't ever going back in the hole. It's all ours now. We're the new kings of these streets. These streets must be sanitized. To save our city, we must burn away this disease. And every trace of it, no matter the cost. Freedom is not a right. Liberty is not a given. This city needs an iron fist to restore order. There shall be no resistance. No matter who stands in our way. There's always another way. Our mission is to save what remains. To save what's left of our city. We are the Division. Now, if there's any chance of putting the pieces of our city back together, then this is all up to you. When we first arrived, this place was destroyed. But over time, we can make it our home. From here, we launch countless missions across the city in search of others. 
doctors, former cops, engineers, people who can help us rebuild the world. Out there, you'll need all your training and equipment. With every battle won, you'll become stronger. With every challenge met, you will gain power. Other agents have set up safe houses throughout the city. You'll need to team up with them and work together. We have to rely on each other's strengths to save what remains and give New York a fighting chance at something we thought was lost. Hope. You are here for a reason. Make no mistake, we are taking this city back.